Hi guys, so I am finally making this video. This is my candy collection from all of the years I've been raving. I just started getting into cuffs and perler and necklaces and all that stuff and so this is all the stuff that I've received. I'm not going to show all my singles because as you guys know I have a lot of singles. You know my belt full of singles. I have two of those now. That would take way way too long and I don't have that many interesting singles so I'm just gonna do my cuffs and my necklaces and all that kind of stuff. This is stuff that I have made for myself or I have received from other people with traits. I guess we're going to just jump right into it. First thing I have are necklaces. This one is from a girl I got in a player package and it is an owl necklace. As you can see it has three little owls on there. So as you guys know I love owls so I have that necklace. Next necklace I made for myself for base con and it is this pot leaf necklace and it says pot princess on the side. Yeah, so there's that one. The next one I got in another player package and I actually wore this to LED USA. It is a buttercup necklace because buttercup is my favorite out of all the Powerpuff Girls. So there's that. Next necklace I had made for LED USA and I wore it and it is my Chami or Chami necklace. Um, he is my favorite DJ and I'm going to see him for a third time at Hard Summer so I am so excited for that. The next thing is this just a little Gandalf perler. As some of you may know I love Lord of the Rings. It is my favorite movie series and so um, I thought this was amazing. I'm going to show you all the cuffs now and then at the very end I'm going to show you all the cuffs and necklaces that I got from EDC. This is the very first cuff I made and it is a UFO cuff and it says kisses on the back because if you guys may or may not know that is my rave name and it has like this little gem button right here. The next cuff I made was my very first epic cuff. It's very heavy. I have never worn this. This is it and it's lips um, because my rave name is kisses and on the back it says kisses and it has these little gems on the side. That's what it looks like from the top. I don't really want to get rid of it just because it's the first one I ever made. This next one was the first cuff I've ever received from anybody and it's from this girl. I took her to her first rave in September. She made me this cuff for Christmas kind of and for OMFGNYE and it is lips again for kisses but it's way cuter than the one I made and it says kisses on the back and then it has all these adorable lip buttons on the side. It's probably my favorite cuff. Ever. I love it so much. This is the first um, trade I made with a stranger and it is this little cuff and it says love in this parlor and it's just a small simple cuff um, and I made this guy a happy face one. I got this one from that same girl that made me the lips one and it's uh, a mermaid hello kitty and it says plurmaid on the back and it has like these little shell buttons on the side and pearls on top and it's super cute. I made this cuff for myself for crush and it is the Sailor Moon heart and then it has hearts and stars on the side. I made this cuff for myself for LED anniversary and it is rarity I believe of the My Little Ponies and it has a bunch of roses on the side and that's what it looks like on top. This next one I made when I was really upset and so I just kind of threw it together. It is this Hello Kitty ribbon that I received for my birthday and then it has all this um, rhinestone silver beads on the side. This was a tradable I had made it for EDC and it kind of got ruined. Um, it was a daisy with a rhinestone. Little butterflies on the side. So that is a tradable that I do want to give away at some event. This one I had made for myself for Beyond Wonderland and then it ended up not happening at all. So um, I am bummed because I haven't gotten to wear this yet. I was going to be the caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. I have made myself a butterfly cuff. Um, it's just like a butterfly perler. And then it has antique looking beads on the side. I really like that. Look, next one I had made for Beyond Wonderland as well, but it didn't, didn't happen. It's a moon. And then on the back it says disco under the moon. And then it has like white stars and silver beads and all that kind of stuff on it. I made this one for a girl for 420 Fest and then I ended up not going. This is an owl that um, used to be a necklace I used to wear every single day. It's just rainbow and it has little stars and pearls on the side and it has the owl charm on it. The next one is a very very special cuff to me and it is 
one of my cats and this is Mr. Kitty and Loki. They're both my cats and then I put the pink and blue colors because I kind of joke that Mr. Kitty is more like a boy and Loki's more of a girl even though they are both girls. And then I put like these sil this little silver beading detail and then I put these little cat button beads on the side. They're on both sides and I really really like this cup. It's very special. I made this cuff for a girl I had met at OM FGNYE and I have not seen her at any other event lately but it is a stormtrooper because I know she really likes Star Wars and then it just has these silver details on the side with these. So I really hope I see her in an event one day so I can get that to her. Next are cuffs that I received in Plur packages that I traded with other girls. This first one is a box cuff. I have never really seen anything like it, but it's literally like little boxes. Um, and it has these detailed beads on the side and then on the top it says cool cats. It is this UFO type cuff and it has all these random heart and rose beads on the side and stars. And then if you can see right here, these letters, it says Disco Kitty because that is something that I put on my Instagram and I think it was a super fucking cute that she put it on the cuff. This one is kind of made the same. It says Plur Vibes and it's just like a rainbow UFO cuff. I really like that one. I received these next ones from a girl from Canada. It is a pretty simple kind of extended cuff and she made me this other one with a My Little Pony on it. And it's kind of the same thing except it's a lot more square. These next ones I received from a girl, I think she lives in Arizona. She made me a cat cuff. It's very simple, just X cuff and it has a little cat on it. And then she made me this one and this is like her signature cuff, like I see her make, make this cuff a lot. And she put roses on it and butterflies and it's just super girly and it's very like nocturnal themed so i think i will wear this to nocturnal these are the cuffs that i received and made for myself for led usa this one is from a girl named amber i love amber um i got to hang out with her a lot led usa because uh, she stayed with me and my friend at the beach house we rented and she made me this Wolverine Hello Kitty. I didn't really tell her I was into superheroes, but she somehow found out and made me a Wolverine Hello Kitty. It's very tight and well made and I love it so much. I haven't gotten a chance to wear it, but I really hope I can one day because I love it so much. The cuff I had gotten from a girl and I actually made her a very similar one like this. I had made her a bigger bow and it was American flag theme and it said all American girl on the back and she made me kind of the same thing. She made me an army colored bow, a camouflage colored bow and it says army girlfriend on the back because as she knows that I, my boyfriend is in the army and so um, I thought it was super cute and totally matched my outfit. This next cuff was one that I made for myself for LED USA. It is just Hello Kitty. Um, and it's just a green themed cuff. Nothing really special at all. This next one is a male trade that I had traded with a girl in Florida for and I'm doing a package with her now so I'm pretty excited to be trading again and making cuffs for people. So she made me this cat one and it says meow in the back in perler letters and then it just has like this pinkish, just all kinds of beautiful colors put together and I just love the color combination of it. I haven't gotten a chance to wear this one yet, but I love it so much. So before I get into my EDC cuffs, I'm going to show you the ones that I recently made for myself that I am hoping to wear to Nocturnal because I think I am going to Nocturnal. I started making cuffs and stuff for me to wear. This is an Aurora cuff from Sleeping Beauty that I made for myself because she is my favorite Disney princess and I put pearls on the top and then just did like a lavender and pink theme and then I put roses, little mini roses all along the outside. I really like this cuff and I'm really hoping to wear it to Nocturnal. I kind of got this idea off of Pinterest. I think this girl made a mask and she kind of put like studs on it and I was like wow it's really cool but I don't want to straight out copy her. So I made a pink one, she had like a black one. It's my very first gas mask. It goes on like this. So instead of putting the, you know, candy beads, I put these little 
ribbons on because it just holds a lot better I think than the just having like little bracelet beads like that. So this is my first candy gas mask. I have made two masks before but I gave them to my boyfriend's friend. That's who I was making them for. I made it very pink and girly and then the studs or the spikes were from an idea I saw on Pinterest and from other masks and the happy faces were my idea. I just kind of put those on there because I kind of wanted to put something in the middle because I had seen people doing that. I'm hoping to wear this to Nocturnal as well. I really am happy with how it came out.